Hello Bebel Pals, my special VPs. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dr. Emasi. I post videos on the art of verbal interaction with difficult people, how to show zero emotional reaction, and how to be cool, calm, and calculated in your verbal communication with them. This channel will teach you how to be mentally quick on your feet. Today, we're going to talk about how to grow a thick skin. This is something that we all need to survive because you will always, always deal with someone mean out there in life. As long as you are living, everybody cannot be nice to you. Everybody will not be nice to you. The internet will not be nice to you. Cyber people on keyboard will not be nice to you. So we have to learn how to grow a thick skin to combat situations like this. But for some people, this is natural. Now to those of us who were not born with a thick skin, this is a skill that you need to learn and it takes practice. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Growing a thick skin comes with experience, but like I said, for some people it is natural and thank God for them. This video will help anyone who has ever felt offended or slighted by someone. We all deal with destructive criticism, hurtful words, labels, name calling and curses in different ways depending on our state of mind, our emotional stability and mental health and whatever is going on at that particular time in our life. Do not allow anyone and anything ruffle your feathers. This is what we want to learn. As a matter of fact, the best approach is to never take anything coming from anyone personal. Even if it's a personal attack on you don't take it personal don't go there don't let your mind go there don't let your mind think that oh my god this person is just after me or this person is this person doesn't like me or whatever the case may be just always think that this is who this person is they're doing it to everybody else too or they've done it to others you're not the first person and you're not gonna be the last person the reason is that how we interpret things affect how we feel about things so you want to interpret it in a way that is not going to upset you, in a way that's not going to make you want to get angry or scream at them. So you want to be cool, you want to be calm, and you want to be calculated in your approach and your interaction with them with anybody who's trying to ruffle your fed okay you your go-to approach should always be to look for anything including insult from a positive angle an example could be if someone calls you a bad name if someone calls you something that's out of your name out of your character there you know it's not true or if someone accuses you of something false a positive way of viewing this could be hmm they're just having a bad day hmm i wonder what's going through their mind or they're they must be out of their mind or they're confusing you with someone else or you can say or you can think that mm, they are in pain these are things that you can think of at that particular time and this will help you stay calm and cool but if you think that if you think the other way let's say you think that oh this person just wants to hurt me this person is wicked this person is mean and this person doesn't like me you will get upset it will upset you it's either gonna make you angry or it's gonna make you sad we don't want that you don't want to be sad you don't want to be angry you just want to be cool and calm how to grow thick skin when it comes to internet internet trolls uh keyboards bullies what to do with situations like that is to ignore don't even feed it don't feed life into it because what you feed will grow your attention giving your attention to it responses that's feeding life into it so there is no point because the more you do it the more they're gonna have things to say things to misconstrue so the best approach is no response no response is better than trying to clarify things online another tip is just to laugh things off okay just laugh things off when people say stuff so when people say hurtful things just laugh it off and just don't give it any energy because you don't want to put your thoughts there shut your thoughts whenever your thoughts are trying to go there just shut it down and try to focus on something else remember for your own self try not to gaslight yourself People can gaslight themselves. I talked about gaslighting in another video, but people can actually self gaslight. So make sure you're not self gaslighting yourself. You're not giving yourself negative self talk. Shut down those negative self talk. Stop the ruminating, uh, thinking on things or dwelling on things over and over and over. And for people who are trying to you destroy you or use destructive words, just don't take them serious. Don't take anything they say personal. Don't 
don't think that it's all about you or you're the only one one thing you have to remember is that people who are feeling good about themselves they don't go around telling people what's wrong with them or trying to hurt other people so that's why that saying hurt people hurt people that's where that came from so just obviously you're not the only person like i said that this particular person or these people are doing this too okay invest your thoughts your time and energy on things and people who will add value to your life having a thick skin means you understand you are not bothered by what people say when people try to get under your skin you respond you don't react how you do this is by taking a step back to critically analyze what they have said there's a difference between a constructive criticism and a destructive one so you want to analyze and see if it's a constructive criticism you want to respond logically you don't want to react rationally and you want to understand exactly where that person is coming from or if they're making sense and you totally I agree you just want to say I totally agree with what you're saying but if it's a destructive criticism you want to pause rather than reacting because obviously they're trying to get under your skin so rather than reacting and giving them this satisfaction of what they're looking for you just do two things the first one is confront the situation confront that person embrace confrontation do not shy away from it but if you think that it's not worth your time there is uh, no need to even engage with this person then it's better not to even uh, invest your time into trying to defend yourself or fighting back the more you put these skills into practice the better you become at them so don't shy away from them don't shy away from haters and don't be surprised if they secretly admire you and actually wish that they could be just like you. Having a thick skin means you are calm, you're cool, and you're calculated no matter the offenses that are thrown your way. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like and share this video. Leave a comment. And uh, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.